Why, hello there, my slimy, slithering amigosanos. Yes, you read that title correctly. Today, we are going to be looking at America's next hot fashion doll model. That being the one and only genuine Larvae. Yes, I finally received my Kickstarter-backed Larvae fashion doll or Sofubi figure in the mail yesterday and I am so excited to be looking at her on the channel. If you all somehow couldn't tell from the overall vibe of my YouTube channel, I am super into these weird things and I love weird collabs like this and whenever I saw this Kickstarter, I knew I just had to back it. I just knew that I had to have larvae squirming through my life. So here is a good look at her packaging. It's actually very beautiful and it kind of goes without saying, but this is obviously a parody um, figure of the original 1959 Barbie. And they even got like the logo to look like the original 1950s Barbie logo, but Instead of the uh, dot on the eye, it's a little uh, fly because she is a maggot. This is the Teenage Fashion Maggot Larvae. And uh, you can see a prototype image on the back of the box as well. I actually kind of want to keep her in the box like whenever I go and display her because this packaging is just so beautiful. I like that they managed to combine the um, original 1950s aesthetic with uh, the color that Barbie has become known for, the pink. Though I highly doubt that this is the exact shade of pink that Barbie uses. It's pretty close. And um, it looks like eventually they will also be coming out with fashion packs for your Larvie doll. Now, this was a Kickstarter-backed project, though I I think that eventually they might um, have some overstock that you will be able to purchase on uh, a separate website. And if I learn anything about that, then I will post it on my community tab for those interested. Well, I guess their website is called lushvegetation.com. So if you want to welcome Larvae into your collection, then I'm sure that they will have her eventually available for purchase outside of the Kickstarter. And I also really like the uh, Mattel logo parody that they have right here. It's also so cute. So much detail in this uh, little packaging design. But let's go ahead and get her out of the box and take a good look at Larvae. I'm taking her out of the box and I'm realizing all this little detail in the background. And it looks like that set of stairs that Barbie walks down in her first commercial. And... They included so many really cute accessories with her, but she's packaged like she's not tied down with plastic, but she's actually in there with little ribbons. That's, that's, it makes it feel so luxurious. Like the only fashion doll that I've ever opened that's like packaged with ribbons is like a really expensive Integrity Toys doll. I'm so happy that this um, Kickstarter went smoothly because I've seen so many, um, fashion doll kickstarters over the years that have just fallen flat or not got enough funds or it's just been pure chaos in the manufacturing. This person that was behind this project must have had some like prior experience um, making toys, I would imagine. I mean, their Instagram is called American Toy Coon, so um, I haven't really looked too much into them personally, um, but because of how smoothly this release came out, I would imagine that um, they do have some experience working in the industry. But here is Larvae, straight out of her packaging. Look at how beautiful she is. This sculpt of hers is so amazing. I love how they got her um like sculpted eye ridges and everything like the original barbie's head sculpt had you know what that was something else that i was a little worried about is i was a little worried that mattel would step in and be like uh what is that no 
No, stop that. I'm pretty sure that this is protected by parody law, if I were to guess is how they got away with this. But yeah, the, her face sculpt is so, so beautiful. Like I love, I just love her so much. And the facial screening is so perfect. Like they got the original Barbie's um, icy, almost like white, eyes that's that's something that i see a lot with like barbie reproductions that they give her blue eyes but the original barbie actually had these like almost color colorless like white gray eyes like she really didn't have any color in her eyes at all and that's really uh captured here in this parody doll i didn't expect her to be as pink as she is but i guess it makes sense because she's a maggot She's almost as pink as I am. And she does have a very beautiful red lipstick color and some eyebrows that are arched to the gods. And she actually has rooted hair, which um, I'm sure is something that separates her from most just like uh, Sofubi figures is that she actually has rooted hair. And um, it's rooted really nicely. I'm not gonna take the hairstyle out uh, this hair fiber, I would say, this feels like saran. It might be polypropylene, though. Um, it's, it is kind of brittle. They did attempt with the, um, with the poodle bangs that the original 1959 Barbie had. It's not quite as curly as the original Barbie did have. And I'm seeing on the back of her head, it's very faint, but you can see, like, some tracks under, um the uh, hairline rooting. So she's rooted pretty well. She also has some really adorable metallic hoop earrings. And I'm noticing that she has a little bit more articulation than I uh, thought that she would come with. So she has head rotation, but she also has a twist and turn waist. <laughs> we don't even have a twist and turn waist anymore from uh, Barbie herself. I think that's Kind of cool how they um, gave her that little bit of extra articulation so that you can pose her. I think like displaying her like like this, like three quarter way so that you could get her um, little tail from the side. I think this would be a nice way of displaying her. Speaking of her tail, how ridiculous is this? Like this is absolutely crazy. Let me let me get her um shoe. She comes with a little shoe. This is a little replica of the original Barbie's shoe and it fits on there pretty snugly. I'm glad that it does because you wouldn't want it to fall off of her. Look at how ridiculous that is. I love that. I love that so much. I think this might actually be the exact same size as a regular Barbie foot. Let me check real quick and see if this shoe can fit on a bar. The shoe can fit on a Barbie. Look at that. The shoe fits perfectly on a regular Barbie. They must have like, um, just copied this foot sculpt from a actual Barbie doll. Cause that's too perfect. That's way, way too perfect. Um, also, I didn't mention it, but her arms do have rotation up and down. Um, not to the side, but that's okay. And of course, she comes with the original 1959 Barbie's zebra stripe swimsuit. And it's this really nice soft fabric and it Velcros in the back. And here is what the body looks like without any clothes on. You can see it does have the sculpted uh, Larvae logo on the back, just like the vintage Barbie's bodies. She also comes with these little cat eye sunglasses that are the clear blue plastic, but they have um, uh, white painted um, brims just to mimic the original Barbie's sunglasses. There we are. She looks so beautiful with her little sunglasses. She does come with one more accessory. So she comes with this little miniature paperboard magazine as well. It doesn't have anything inside, but it is still a really, really cute accessory that you can pose her with. I love that they included that. Like they really included everything that the original Barbie came with. This is such a 
cool parody doll. This I think would be such a cool and interesting part of any Barbie collector's collection. It's like such a talking piece, right? I love her like little blush that she has on her cheeks too. Like she's so adorable. She might be a fashion doll, but Larvae did not come to play. Barbie, Bratz, Monster High, Rainbow High, eat your hearts out. Or better yet, wait and she can do it while you're decomposing. Now, I did want to actually look at a couple genuine Mattel products today. The first one has been a super hot item this week, and people have had a lot of trouble getting a hold of her. And I didn't initially plan on reviewing her on the channel or getting her at all, but I did want to pick up one of the Stevie Nicks Barbies for my friend Timothy, just in case that he didn't have the ability to get her. And I had a couple people request that I take a look at her on the channel, so why not? So here is the Stevie Nicks Barbie displayed in her packaging. And here is a look at the back of her box. I'm sorry, but I honestly don't know a whole lot about this musician. I think she's a little bit before my time. The back of the box does keep referencing the 1970s, so that was like 20 to 30 years before I was even thought of, so. Um, but she is a really popular musician, so I've heard, and this Barbie doll specifically has been super, super popular. I have seen so many people buying this Barbie doll and not even using her as Stevie Nicks because she's got a beautiful face, but the this face looks like it could really be anybody. In fact, I saw a leak of this face sculpt last year and nobody could really figure out who it was gonna be of. Like some people were thinking that she looked kind of like Britney Spears and some people have used her to make custom Britney Spears dolls already. And me and Timothy kind of thought that she looked a little bit like Celine Dion, though. And I think that's uh, Timothy's plan for her is that he is going to use her to create a one-of-a-kind Celine Dion Barbie. Do any other Celine Dion fans see her in this face sculpt? I can kind of see it based off of some of the images that he has shared with me. I believe that he plans on rerouting her. And even though I'm not going to be keeping this doll, this will be sent to him. I do plan on keeping this outfit. But let me first talk about this face. This face is so, so beautiful. And I'm very fortunate. I ordered this from Mattel Creations. They gave me one with really uh, sym symmetrical facial printing. And she is also not the um, DIJ pixelation. She is um, actually Tampo. So she's got a very clean facial screening. And I, I really like how they did her bangs too. Um, like her bang, bangs are pretty clean. This hairstyle is actually pretty short, um, but it is like a blend of different shades of blonde. Looks like there might actually be a little bit of gray in there too. It's a really soft saran though. This Stevie Nicks Barbie also has the basic uh, like Playline Barbie articulation with rotation at the head, the shoulders, the uh, elbow. She also has the wrist articulation with the Fashionista's hand sculpt and hip and knee. Now, talking about the outfit, I really like the outfit, though I think it's kind of an odd decision to only make this top piece, this... Uh, um, velvet material, I guess is what you would call it. Um, but maybe they did that because they wanted to make sure that in doll scale, the sleeves and the bottom of the dress would be, um, as flowy as they are. It actually looks really beautiful. Like just, just playing around with her, like this outfit has so much movement in it. It's kind of given like a, like a Halloween, like witchy feel to it. And I think part of that might be coming from this little moon necklace that they gave her that's actually on like a little metallic gold string. It's not just like one whole piece of plastic, like it's a separate charm on a piece of thread, which is cool. Um, but 
uh, yeah, I mean, I, the only thing I could see myself using this dress for would be like a like a witch cosplay or something. I, I don't know if that influence is intentional or not. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about this uh, artist, but I mean, it's a beautiful doll regardless. I am a little worried though, because under her uh, dress, they have this little um, plastic, this plastic uh, protection. I guess, just in case this stains eventually, has me a little worried about the, um, about the lifespan of these dolls, about the, uh, fu future proofing of them, like, in 20, 30 years, are we gonna have a bunch of Stevie Nicks Barbies with really highly stained bodies? At least it's not touching her face, though, I suppose. Uh, can we talk about these boots, though? How cool are these boots? These are awesome. Like, I'm I'm so excited to get these boots. Um, I don't know if these have ever been seen before, but I love these really high platforms. They're so, so cool. I might actually paint the bottom of the platforms like a silver color or something. I think that might look cool. And she does come with one extra accessory, being this tambourine. This is so cute and fun. I love how they actually painted the little symbols on there, a metallic silver. And um, it does have some little uh, little ribbons hanging off of it as well. This is such a cute celebrity fashion doll. I think the designers at Mattel deserve a round of applause for uh, being able to capture um, a celebrity's likeness without it being too hyper-realistic and creepy. Um, because I have never seen another fashion doll company do celebrity dolls like this. Like, do them this well. Like, Mattel really does have the best designers whenever it comes to making celebrity fashion dolls that actually capture their likeness. Now, one last thing that I wanted to look at in this video was on the Facebook Marketplace, I found a listing where it had one of my whale holiday Barbie dolls on it. And I was so, so excited to see her because she was only $15. It came with a couple other like junk Barbie dolls, like a, like a few Millie's, um, but she was in the lot. And I was so excited to finally add, uh, I think 2018 or 2019, I, I forget what year Holiday Barbie this is, but this is the Holiday Barbie with the Madame Lavinia head sculpt from the Harlem Theater Collection. This one was designed by Carlisle Nuera. Whenever I started this year, I didn't have one single Barbie with the Madame Lavinia head sculpt, but Thanks to Timothy, I now have the original Madame Lavinia Barbie, and now I have the holiday Madame Lavinia Barbie. I was so ready to pick her up. She was only like 20 minutes away. I was like, I'll be there, no problem. And um, she's so beautiful. She doesn't really even have that bad of wonk eye. Like, I I'm so happy to finally have her. I also plan on adding the Asian Madame Lavinia Barbie, the anime wonk. Uh, Madame Lavinia Barbie into my collection pretty soon, so I will have three. Look at how beautiful her facial screening is. I love her icy gray eyes and her red lipstick, her eyebrows. I, I love her eyebrows so much. She's got some faint blushing on her cheeks. She also has some dark navy blue. You can barely see it probably, but dark navy blue and also gold. Um, eyeliner. Uh, her hair is this beautiful uh, dark brown and black blend. It is saran with a little uh, twist going across the top. Very beautiful. She also has some metallic gold earrings that I'm surprised they actually didn't fall out um, because they are loose. I think that this person that I got it from, I think they're one of those people that goes and like they go to thrift stores and uh, buy and resell dolls and lots, and I, um, typically I don't care for those people, but also I understand, you know what, times are tough, and people, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Those are the best type of resellers, right? The ones that don't really know what they have, so 
I get a Madame Lavinia Barbie for a really, really nice price. And, oh, like, look at how cool. Oh my goodness, I love how her dress is so flowy. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> I love how much movement this dress has. It's so beautiful. Um, I'll probably not keep the dress, though. I will be redressing her and making her over. Cannot wait to do that. And I will also have to get her a um, new Mates Move body. She looks like she has the reddish um, skin tone that's on the wheelchair skipper. I've been getting so many dolls with that skin tone lately. I just need to buy like a bulk box of those uh, wheelchair skippers at this point. She also has um, some uh, gold high heels. They're not metallic, though. I kind of wish they were met metallic. Um, the only thing that she is missing, really, is if you remember that year, they had like a giant um, star mounted to the back of them because I think the idea for this collection was they were supposed to be like Christmas tree toppers, like uh, holiday angel Christmas tree toppers, you know. Um, I'm not sure people still do that anymore, but whenever I was a kid, my family had like a angel Christmas tree topper. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so happy to finally add this Madame Lavinia Holiday Barbie into my collection. So that was really all that I had to share for today's video. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and join if you want to on my channel to get access to my custom emojis and also a little Barbie CBF um, badge on the side of your name whenever you are commenting on this channel. I really wish that the YouTube member emojis like you could use them on other channels i think that would be so fun i think you can do that on twitch so youtube needs to get on it but i'll see you all next one bye